What's up guys? My name is Zach and today I am driving a 1992 Cadillac Sedan DeVille. Up front is a 4.9 liter V8 and down below is a four speed automatic transmission. Now I am super excited to be driving this Sedan DeVille for many reasons. First of all, I haven't done this generation, although I've done later DeVilles that came throughout the rest of the 90s, seen here and here, I haven't done a 92. This is a little bit square, a little bit different. There's a couple of really nice features that you get in here and I have plenty of thoughts. But if you would like to share your luxury vehicle with me or any vehicle at all, you can head on over to my website, zachpradle.com submit. It's a quick and easy submission form, takes under a minute to fill out. I come to you and you would get a video of your vehicle, just like the one you're watching now of this Cadillac Sedan DeVille. But let's get back to that 4.9 liter V8, that port fuel injection engine as advertised on the rear trunk lid. Well, in all honesty, it's lumpy, it's lazy, and this thing is not fast. What Cadillac was going for was smooth, and they really did achieve that in the Sedan DeVille. However, this engine's biggest claim to fame is what it's not. This engine is not a North Star engine. For the next generation of DeVille, although they did offer the 4.9 for the first little bit, they switched to the 4.6 liter North Star engine, and if you've ever heard the word North Star, a shiver just shot down your spine. Like I said, Paraduit is an automatic transmission. It is equally as lazy as the engine itself. But again, that's sort of almost what you want out of a Cadillac. The Sedan DeVille works off of its own schedule. It doesn't answer to anyone. You might be thinking in your head, come on, shift. But it goes, I'll shift when I want, and it most certainly will. It'll make that decision on its own. Last but not least, although this is a big floaty V8, the Sedan DeVille from 92 is front wheel drive. So how does it feel to actually drive the Cadillac Sedan DeVille? It floats, and I really, really enjoy that. Now, to me, I think the later DeVille floats in a very similar manner. I would have to drive them back to back to really majorly notice a difference. So that's not a huge benefit of the earlier gen. However, this still is just very comfortable it soaks up the bumps like bounty paper towels, and I love it. Visibility actually is pretty good because the eight pillars aren't that huge. And overall, it's a comfy Cadillac experience. With that stuff out of the way, let's talk about the interior because we have quite a bit to talk about. Well, in front of me, I get some digital gauges. Off to the left is my odometer, in the center is my speed, and off to the right is my trip odometer, as well as my turn signals, and then these just random grid boxes for some reason. Not 100% sure why. But then down below that, I get which gear I'm in, and off to the left, I get my fuel data center, as well as my fuel in the tank, which this car requires premium unleaded only. Then I have the Twilight Sentinel. This is basically the automatic headlight system. They just called it a fun name at the time, and they used this for quite some while. Headlight switches, and then off to the right, I have my electronic climate control. Kind of weird that they almost hide it from the passenger. <laughs> And I have a giant plate that just says information center. Thanks guys. Thanks for uh, letting me know. The steering wheel does have an airbag as well as the grips are way down low. Again, that more cruiser feel. And off to the left, I do have a climate control vent. And moving on to the door, we have lock and unlock, power mirrors, power windows, and our power seat adjustments. So kind of odd to see on the door itself. Moving into the center, we do get two climate control vents, and then we get the radio, which I got in and immediately realized, where have I seen this radio before? In another Cadillac, the less favorable Cadillac, the Cadillac Cimarron. So this is a J-Body Cavalier radio, essentially, which is kind of funny to see, and I'm a little proud of myself for recognizing that having driven so many vehicles. Then we do have two pop-out ashtrays with the cigarette lighter in the middle, a Cadillac badge down on the carpet below. Love the look of that. And then we do have a fold-down center console, with cup holders, so we will do a big friggin' bottle test here in the Cadillac Sedan DeVille from 1992. And unfortunately it fails, the arms of the cup holder aren't adjustable. So alas, it's a fail, but I can't really fault it too much. 
Then we gotta talk about the seats. They are incredibly plush, incredibly comfortable, and exactly what I expect out of a Cadillac and exactly what I want out of a Cadillac. However, speaking of seats, we do have back seats. So let's go do a back seat review. <laughs> all right i'm awake all right so around the back of the uh sedan deville so to get in you actually have to push this over there's a little piece of metal that actually holds it so you can actually put the key in that wears down a lot most cars i review don't have that so it's a pain but circle key because this is the era of two gm keys and the keys are gold which is pretty neat. But once we are back here, I mean, this is like a three bedroom, two bath estate. I love it back here. We do get this little manual release diagram. Pretty cool there. And although I don't get any like crazy amenities back here, what is nice is that this has a soft close feature. So watch when I close it, it'll actually suck it in the rest of the way. That is pretty neat. Now we gotta talk about the looks and I really, really like the look of this. It does have sort of that square body 80s look to it, but it's a little bit more refined. It's a little different. It's a little changed. And I like that sort of median ground, if I do say so myself. Couple of things interesting about the exterior though, as we finish up this walk around. Let it play, let it play, let it play, let it play. First of all, the wheels say Cadillac Motor Division. I guess that's just a cool way to say Cadillac. Not really sure why, but you know. And then we gotta talk about these little bumps on the hood. They are little indicator lights that will illuminate if your headlights are on, if your turn signals are on, or if your brights are on. So from the cockpit, you can tell what's turned on and off. And I see this a fair amount on Japanese domestic market vehicles, but not super common on American cars. However, with all of that being said, Let's get on to my final thoughts. What do I think driving the Cadillac Sedan DeVille from 1992, over 30 years ago? Well, I don't think I really have any major new thoughts. I'm not really breaking ground here by saying that this car is incredibly plush, comfortable, and great to drive. It's like a warm grandmother's hug but it happens to have four wheels and a V8. But as I've said with other GM products, this is sort of the changing of the guard when it comes to Cadillac, because this still has the square body, almost rugged look from the 70s and 80s, but it is leaning towards that newer age. This was just prior to the North Star hitting the streets. But I like that this car has a sort of class and a sort of appreciation for its history about it. I like the gold badging found around this vehicle. I like the burgundy on burgundy on burgundy paint interior and top combo. And for me personally, I think this is peak Cadillac because it's modern enough to get out of its own way. You're not dealing with carburetors, nothing like that. But it also has air conditioning that's still working 31 years later. The seats are comfortable. It doesn't beat you up while you drive it. Not that older Cadillacs ever did, but it's a good solid mix. I don't feel like archeologists had to dig for six months in the deserts of Egypt to unearth this automobile. Feels like it came out just a few days ago. Now, when I say days ago, this was really thousands of days ago that this car came out, but you get my point. It would feel weird seeing this at a classic car dealer because although age-wise, this is well into the classic car category, it doesn't feel that outdated, I guess maybe to me. Now, modern Cadillac certainly is very different. And if you compared it to the new CT5 V that I drove, yeah, you're gonna see a lot of differences, but I don't know. This to me, this is peak Cadillac. This is my favorite era 
of Cadillac. It's the type of Cadillac that makes me want to just pull over and curl up into a ball and go to sleep. Normally when I say a car makes me sleepy, that's a bad thing, but this, no, I could live in this thing. And I'm sure you wouldn't have a problem doing that either. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Huge thank you to Dylan for letting me take out his 1992 Cadillac Sedan DeVille. Always fun to drive another comfy Cadillac. Dylan has been absolutely awesome. This is the fourth car of his that I have filmed today. And he has been such a gracious host, such a gracious help to the channel, allowing me to review all these cars and bring them to you. It's exciting and Dylan is absolutely awesome. I can't thank him enough. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe if you really liked it. Take care, guys.